Hi there, Matt Wade here, and in this video, we're gonna talk about one of the most uh, long-awaited features to come to a Microsoft Teams meeting, and that is actual presenter view for when you share uh, a PowerPoint deck in a Teams meeting. So let's jump right into it. So like I said, one of the most anticipated features that we've been waiting for in Microsoft Teams meetings is when you share uh, a PowerPoint slideshow from the share tray, not from like, uh, you know, open up the, the desktop app and share your screen, but actually share a uh, PowerPoint slideshow, the file itself from the, the share tray, getting presenter view when you're the one presenting that file. Uh, this is a new feature currently in public preview at the time of recording this video. We'll be coming out to everybody shortly. If you don't have it yet, just be patient. It works really well, very, uh, I think pretty intuitively. Um, but let's just like jump right into a demo and show you exactly how it works. So I'm right now in a meeting uh, with Megan. I'm using the Mac version of Teams on the desktop, so I'm in the pop-out meeting right now. This works exactly the same way on Windows, so don't worry. Also doesn't matter if you're on Mac and somebody else is on Windows, or if you're in the browser and they're in uh, the desktop app, it works either way. The important part is the roles. It all comes down to presenter versus attendee. Being able to do this is uh, what's going to matter here. So uh, I'm going to go forward and bring up a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, this is loading live, so you'll see how long this takes. This is about a 100 megabyte PowerPoint presentation, so it's reasonably large, uh, graphic heavy. One uh, minor ding I would have on this feature is it does take a while to load things, unfortunately, especially as I start scrolling through the, uh, the list of slides. But the layout here is similar to what you're experiencing in the desktop app. It's a bit of a light version, I will say, but it shows you uh, the um, uh, one large view of what slide is currently being viewed on the, the left side along the bottom is a strip of all of the slides in your slideshow that includes all of the hidden slides so you can show a hidden slide if you need it and i know a lot of people use those as like backup slides just in case but you don't want that to get in the way of the conversation you can absolutely use that and then you have notes on the right side as well which is uh, totally uh, useful i think because it's really good to have those around now if i scroll through here and i bring you to another slide i can just click on that slide um, it will bring me to it. And to move from slide to slide, you should really use the arrow buttons, the navigate buttons, because that will bring you through any transitions that you might have. So here you'll see I have notes on this, and I uh, can't edit these notes here. So you have to do all the editing in PowerPoint itself, uh, but you'll see that those will pop up, <clears throat> change with the, uh, the slide as it, as it comes up, which is just really, really nice. So let's see what this looks like from the, uh, the other attendees viewpoint in this meeting. So I'm just going to, uh, split screen this between the desktop version, uh, which is me, and the web version, which is another person that uh, has joined this meeting. And uh, what she's seeing is the slide that I'm seeing. So she's on the right side, and she's an attendee of this meeting. She also has the, the role of presenter currently, um, uh, but uh, she's also a participant or attendee of this meeting. And I have, um, and she's in the web browser. So I'm just going to navigate forward. So she should see. Uh, you know, very slight delay, but whatever. Um, the um, transitions, animations, things like that. Moving forward, I can go through and uh, find some slides here that I think have some more advanced animations. So if I go to this slide and I press navigate forward, you'll see, um, actually on my end, I was able to see the page curl, she was not, right? So there are some downsides here uh, with PowerPoint on the web. This is not related to the presenter view that I'm talking about here. This is just PowerPoint on the web still hasn't caught up to the advanced animations and transitions that PowerPoint uh, desktop app has. Um, I'm not entirely sure why I see it on my desktop app. I think that might just be due to um, the uh, pop-out window has more features perhaps. And then I know in this case, moving forward, I am using morph for the letters. Let's see if that works. Yeah, the morph actually works for her. That's, that's good. Okay, so that's great. So here's something that we wanna talk about though is <clears throat> one of the big requests has been, how do I present a PowerPoint slideshow and then share ownership of the presentation with another person so that another person in you know the 21st century doesn't have to go, next slide please, next slide please. Well, this fixes that. So I have the ability to let somebody else request control. Now, one downside is I can't give somebody else control of this slideshow. However, somebody else can ask to take control of the slideshow. But that person has to have the presenter role. Attendees cannot ask to take control. In this case, Megan is in this meeting. She does have um, presenter status in this. 
So let me just, uh, you'll see down here, she has the option to take control. If I change her status to attendee, you'll notice that she doesn't have that button to take control anymore. I also have the option, just like in uh, PowerPoint before, I can either allow people to navigate away from the slide that I'm on or I can disable that. So you can see the, the notification pops up that she can't move around, but if I open that back up, she can actually move forward in the slides and it actually places a yellow outline around it to let me know, uh, let her know that she's in the wrong spot or you know ahead or behind. And she can also click to go back to the presenter. Now, if I make her a presenter again, <clears throat> she'll get that notification that she's been upgraded and this is where she can request control. Now if she takes control, you'll see that another user took control from my side, okay? And then she can be presenting. Now she's in the web experience so she's not going to have uh, the toolbar at the top but she does have the option to press forward and uh, backward on the slides and basically now she has full control. She does not see the uh, actual presenter view though, but she is able to present. So that is definitely useful. When she's done, uh, she can let me know or I can just do it myself. I can do the take back. And once I click take back, that's when I go back into having the full on experience of presenter view. So you'll see presenter view is only uh, accessible in the, uh, the desktop app experience. You're not gonna see it in the web experience. Um, so that is basically uh, all there is to it on how this new thing works. A couple downsides here that I've noted in uh, kind of uh, testing and a little asking around. First off, I will say some people are saying that they don't believe that this is obvious enough. Um, I don't know if I agree with that critique. Uh, as people open up, um, you know, any sort of um, PowerPoint presentation these days and they just kind of bring up a, um, you know, it just it just opens up presenter view, right? Like that's just what you expect. So like the fact that it does this now in Teams, you would think that that would be a good thing because it makes it more, you know, in line with what the app does. But I guess people are worried that um, they don't know what their viewers in the meeting are seeing, but the big red outline here, this is what people are seeing. That's that's the slide that's live. So if, if that's a concern, just make that, just say that to your, you know, people that you're working with or that might use this. That, you know, the big one is the one that's that's being seen. The other thing I've mentioned already, it does, it does you know, load a little bit slowly. I will admit this is a very large presentation, um, uh, very graphic heavy, but uh, even smaller ones will take a second to load. And I think that's just a PowerPoint on the web type of thing. It just happens to be that way. Um, this is also a light version of presenter, right? There's no inking yet. We don't have that option. Uh, there's no ability for the person who's presenting to switch to actual viewer mode to see what's being shown like they would have seen in the past. Um, so you are, if you're presenting, you you only get presenter view, period. That's all you have. Uh, you also um, don't see the next slide step or the next, anim the next slide or the next animation step like you do in um, uh, presenter view on... Uh, Windows and Mac, or at least you can set it up to show it that way. There is no option for that here. Uh, I do kind of like that because I do like to use animations and transitions and sort of a, uh, I'll say classy or like useful or, or design, you know, or oriented way. And I like to know what's happening next so I can kind of gauge the future and be prepared for that next bullet point or something that's going to pop up. Uh, but that is not something that's available here yet. And then just, like I said, the regular PowerPoint for the web limits, uh, transitions and um, animations are still, you know, somewhat, I don't want to use the word rudimentary anymore. That's what it was, you know, maybe months ago. These, especially here, these, these new uh, updates, especially some of the, the morph and page curl, that kind of thing. I'm impressed to actually see those ones working. So uh, this is how uh, the new presenter view works in Microsoft Teams. Really excited about this because finally this can uh, bring me into sharing um, PowerPoint presentations directly from that share tray uh, in meetings as opposed to always sticking to using uh, the desktop app because the desktop app was just always just a trusty, you know, trusty little friend. Uh, this will definitely get me there at least, at least some of the time. Uh, there are use cases for me at least, the way that I like to present uh, that might keep me on the desktop, but 
uh, definitely a major improvement here that many of us have been waiting for. If you like tips and tricks like this, uh, you definitely want to take a look at uh, pre-ordering my upcoming book, Teach Yourself Visually, Microsoft Teams, is available for pre-order now on Amazon and other major book retailers. You can get a, a link to the pre-order below. Um, hopefully you'll find it as a really nice guide, um, you know, kind of a field guide, almost like a, you know, that book that you just have on your, your desk when you have a question about Teams, pick it up, open it, this is how you do X. I'm really hoping you'd, uh, you'd find that useful. Uh, tips and um, guides from the, the, like the videos that you see from me are what you're going to find in that book. So definitely check out that link. If you found this video helpful, a like and a subscribe is much appreciated. I'd love to hear what you are planning on doing with the new presenter view in PowerPoint. Uh, are you as excited as me? Because I'm actually, this is one of the things that I'm like really excited about. And I actually think Microsoft doesn't realize like how excited people are about this. Uh, they're out there talking about some of the major teams upgrades and like we're over here going, I just, you know, I just can't wait or just couldn't wait for PowerPoint presenter view uh, to, uh, you know, bring us to, <laughs> I don't know, the, the early 2000s. But it's definitely a good update and I hope you enjoy it as well. But I'd love to hear how you're planning on using it or what has been in your way as to, uh, you know, what have you been, not been able to do because you didn't have this? So definitely leave some, uh, some comments below. Would love to hear some input there and uh, happy playing with the new presenter view once you get it. And again, if you don't have it yet, it's on its way. Just be patient.